um, thank you for talking to me about this film. I adore this film. I think it's so strong and so powerful. So congratulations on producing such an amazing movie. Um, this is such a female driven film, I think, from the, the acting to the script to the director. Was this a major draw when you took on and accepted this role? Yeah, definitely. I feel like this story being told by a man, it just wouldn't, I don't know if it would have the same sensitivity and the same, um, I don't know, I feel like every single woman I spoke to on this set knew Alice, had been Alice, had loved Alice in one capacity or another in their life, in their own personal life and had experienced it. And I think sometimes, you know, um, <clears throat> I think I think I think men just don't necessarily believe us that this is that this happens and it happens regularly, you know. Yeah, absolutely. It is this really come forward that so many women have these stories, even if it's not their own stories, it's some yeah. other person's stories that they know. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. I really love your the character of Sophie because especially at the beginning, she's a seemingly like calm, level-headed, kind presence to her friends in her life. How did you find that aspect of her character? How did you establish that? I Honestly, I feel like Sophie um, felt really close to me personally. Like, I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm definitely like the mother hen in my, in my friendship group. I'm definitely... Um, <laughs> the one who tries to um, keep things sweet and, you know, like you can bitch about each other to me, but don't <laughs> do it to each other. Don't argue, <laughs> you know, like, um, <laughs> um, but I'm, not, yeah. So I just felt, I felt really, I felt like she was a part of me hundred percent. Like, um, and that I was really excited to play someone similar to me. Cause I don't <laughs> really get to play, um, you know, young bubbly kind of uh just a you know loving friend you know there's always drama <laughs> I mean there is drama but <laughs> for her it was just kind of like trying to keep it light and that that is definitely something I lean into in my personal life that kind of trying to keep it light absolutely it definitely comes comes forward she's definitely this really fun loving character she's got my favorite line in the in the film which is about charity being full of narcissists <laughs> <laughs> yeah I like that too <laughs> um and it's so interesting because um even though she's this kind lovely presence you can still see her anger and her distress at watching the situation unfold in front of her so how is mm. that developing because you keep it kind of underneath for a lot of the film you can kind of see that she's she's and she knows what's going on there's something more dangerous happening to her friend yeah um I mean I've seen it I've I've been there I've we you know I I have seen people hold their tongues trying to protect the people that they love from the people that they love and um trying to stay present is really like it's so important but it's also really hard because if you speak up too much you might your friend might disappear on you and might choose the you know their abusive partner which happens and um <clears throat> yeah so it's that balance of trying to keep it um keep the person close but also trying to pick your moments of like questioning or um uh, or just a slight challenge that wouldn't um hopefully I don't know it's weird because it's like sometimes I feel like Sophie can be a bit of an enabler by ignoring like by not speaking up but then at the same time Alice is so Alice and um, you know she distances distances herself or she's already distanced herself already and you can see her tense relationship with Tess who's someone who speaks up so I think she has to choose the kind of um, gentle approach um, or else Alice will have no one, you know. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a choice of like 
trying to keep the balance to make sure she's 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 not so she doesn't disappear from us um but yeah I've, I've seen it I've done it <laughs> like how to stay close to someone who's in danger who doesn't um who doesn't know like that 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 they're not picking themselves you know they're picking they're picking pain I guess they're not picking their happiness absolutely which makes her turning point I think Sophie's turning point even more powerful I I don't want to give away what happens but yeah yeah I know it's just that she's about to leave and especially after her her rebellion her quiet rebellion and coming on holiday with her friends this could be this could be the last moment they see her really it could be the time that she just chooses him now because she's gone against all of his rules like this could be this could be it like yeah so Sophie is like it's now or never it's really well done and what I find really beautifully done is is this friendship feels so real on the screen how did you develop that with the other actresses? Because it's just so great. Um, we were in, we were filming in um, Canada. And uh, when we arrived in Canada, we had to quarantine for two weeks. And we all lived on the same property in our, our own little cottages. So we were allowed to leave, stay on the property, but we could, you know, we could commune outside so we we just got to know each other for two weeks um we swam in the lake every day and and um we had rehearsal outside on the on the on the porch um yeah we we could it was like we were still like socially distancing but we were able to just be together and get to know each other we spoke from day one about our relationship with coercive controlling relationships or um you know or um abusive relationships that we've seen and um, and uh, and had to navigate um people living through them and getting through them and finding themselves again um you know we're all women in our mid 30s who have seen this at least once and so we've we just connected and spoke and just got to know each other it was really yeah it was really special I mean because we didn't we only went to Toronto for the last week so we had like is that we had five weeks in the lakes just living next door to each other and seeing each other every single day so it came quite easily yeah and that really shows the reader show in the in the film it's so beautiful and also um I want to talk about working with Mary, this debut director, because um, I spoke to her last week and she's just phenom- phenomenal praise on all of you. So how was it working with her? Oh, it was just great. She's so lovely. And so she kind of gently leads you and is, you know, she takes she takes her time to figure out the scene together to find all of the nooks and crannies of the scenes. We don't, we didn't have, it didn't feel rushed or anything. Um, didn't really feel like we had the space to to rehearse and explore each moment and make sure that each moment was like we to to kind of mark each moment in the scene um in each scene um yeah it didn't feel like working with a first time director actually she felt very confident and um calm um and we had a really great crew as well and so i just felt like it felt really it just felt really easy yeah it felt really easy I don't I don't feel like I remember feeling unsafe and uh, 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 unconfident uh, insecure I don't remember feeling any of that like just feeling like this is this is this is our felt we're just doing it you know we're just living and breathing together like the cast and crew together felt really uh just I don't know, is that organic, harmonious? 
<laughs> How many? I read the hand gestures has <laughs> sold it for me anyway. <laughs> Well, that's all I, I have time for today. But I this has been really an absolute pleasure to talk to you today. I, I do think you've created such an important and really visceral, emotional film um, that really I loved and I can't stop harping on about. So congratulations. Thank you so much. No worries. And thank you so much for talking to me today. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Have a good one. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!